If you love spice, then this is the recipe for you. With just five simple ingredients, you can make this Hawaiian hot sauce. I'll teach you how to make some Hawaiian chili pepper water, so stick around. Aloha my kako, my name is Rel and welcome to my kitchen where I like to share all my favorite Hawaiian and local recipes. Now, this recipe is definitely known very well here in Hawaii and it's Hawaiian chili pepper water or vai ni oi. And it's like the Hawaiian hot sauce that we use on everything. I'm gonna be completely honest, I am such a wuss for spicy food. Like on a scale of zero to 10, my spice tolerance is point one. But I do help my husband make this all the time and this is his favorite, so this is a ode to him. <laughs> and of course, to make Hawaiian chili pepper water, you need some Hawaiian chili peppers. I've got a plant in my yard, so let's go pick some. So chili peppers start with this like green color here, like this one. And then as they start to develop and mature, you get this orange color. And at the peak of ripeness, it's this red color here. So you'll wanna pick the ones that are red like this before they start to get a little wrinkly. If they get wrinkly, it's fine. Hurry up and pick it and use it. But ideally, it's the red, smooth one. So let's get started. Obviously, chili pepper water, you need water. So there's a pot on heat. It's gonna make a lot of noise because it's already on. I try to heat things up ahead of time to you know kind of get things running. But anyway, you wanna get this water to come to a boil and then you're gonna add some Hawaiian salt, but you want it to boil first because if you add the Hawaiian salt, it's gonna take longer to come to a boil. So hold on real quick, let's get this boiling. I'll be right back. While the water's coming to a boil, we'll get everything else ready to go. Now, everybody and their grandma has their own way of making chili pepper water. This is mine. We actually doctor it up different ways, show you sometimes, limu koho we even put in sometimes, but this is like the base base and you can add things as you go. So you'll need some garlic. I like the garlic press, it's great. I'll link the one I have in the description box below. Hawaiian chili peppers, I should have looked it up before. The Scoville, Scoville, Scoville rating. I meant to do that before we started. I'll let you know before the end of the video. Hey Siri, how hot is a Hawaiian chili pepper? Okay, I found this on the web for how hot is a Hawaiian chili pepper. Check it out. 50 to 70. 50,000 to 70,000. Hey Siri, how hot is a habanero pepper? Here's what I found from Wikipedia. Habanero chilies are very hot, rated 100,000 to 350,000 on the Scoville scale. Okay, not as hot as that, I guess, then. For some reason, I thought it was hotter, but who knows how much Siri really knows. Just kidding. And then, of course, Hawaiian chili peppers. They grow, obviously, really well here. Please be careful when cutting them. Do not rub your eye. Wear gloves, whatever you need to do, but definitely you don't want that. So the water is boiling, so, well, it's bubbling at least. So Hawaiian salt. Hawaiian salt is a thicker grain, uh, sea salt. We're gonna add that in, and you're just gonna boil it until the salt dissolves. So we'll let that keep going and we'll chop this up. So for the chili peppers, you don't need the top part, and the heat comes from, in. well, some of the inside came out on that one. But the heat comes from the seeds and the stuff on the inside. You can totally adjust to your liking. If you like it more spicy, add more. If you don't like it as spicy, then add less. And that's the great thing about recipes, right? Is you can adjust it to how you like it. I'm getting nervous because it's all over my fingers <laughs> and I'm such a wuss. So not that this is like crazy hot, but it's hot to me. All right. We're gonna wash my hands really good after this one. And then all we wanna do is make fine cuts. Some people don't cut it. You can toss it in whole if you want. I just cut it because, I don't know, I feel like when you pour it on stuff, you don't want like a whole chili pepper falling off onto whatever you're eating. Maybe you do, totally up to you. I dice mine up. Ooh wee. And then you're gonna need a little bit of vinegar. I like to use either white distilled vinegar. You could even use rice wine vinegar if you wanted. We're gonna add that. The boiling vinegar has a little bit of a kick too, so your your uh, sinuses will be nice and cleared. Okie dokie. Hawaiian chili pepper water, like every, oh, that's garlic, garlic going in. Every place has it, you know, restaurants, mom and pop shops and things. 
and then the chili peppers go in. And really, you just turn this down to a simmer and you're just gonna let it go. Come, let it come up to a boil, turn it down to a simmer, and you're just gonna let it go like five, 10 minutes. You, the longer you let it go, the more it is. But you can also let it sit in the fridge and that's, um, the flavors will really develop. The great thing about it is it lasts quite a while. You can put it in any kind of jar. I don't know about you, but if you've been to anybody's house here in Hawaii, they have probably a jar of chili pepper water in their fridge, and it's usually in some like reusable glass jar of whatever you bought from some other <laughs> ingredient. Let me get this simmering clean up. I'll get a container and show you how we store it. Be right back. Okie dokie, pretty much where I want it. You can cook it down longer if you want. The longer you let it sit, like I said, the more the flavor develops. You can kind of smell it. I, I wouldn't recommend putting your face right over it. The steam that comes off is pretty intense. The vinegar and the chili pepper. And even standing here, sometimes it can make your nose a little bit itchy. Sneezing and stuff like that. So, But anyway, once it's done, um, they sell all kinds of jars and containers and things that you can put it in, but I like a good old mason jar. So just make sure it's sterilized ahead of time. Basically, you just boil water, place it in, and that'll kill off, you know, whatever bacteria is in here. So mason jar, your funnel also needs to be clean. So go ahead. The great thing is that there's vinegar in here. So that acts as a anti, not antibacterial, but it kind of keeps all that gunk out, yeah? So then we're gonna pour this into here. All the all the stuff, all the garlic and um, chili pepper is gonna go in here too. Hold on though. We got some chili peppers in there. We want all of that to go in. Wipe the area you work on after. <laughs> Because look, this is all the flavor. You don't want to leave that flavor in the pot or in the trash can for that matter. Alrighty, all of that goes in. You're going to want to let this cool completely before you put it in the fridge, but this can sit and the maximum flavor, like if you leave it in there for a couple of days, even better. So you can use this chili pepper water on anything like beef stew, on your poke, on... I don't know, whatever you want. Anything that you would normally put like hot sauce on, Hawaiian chili pepper water works well. That's how you make Hawaiian chili pepper water. And if you like this recipe and you wanna see another Hawaiian favorite, then check out this video here. And until next time, ahoi ho. Thank you for watching my mommy's video.